No, I, I disagree with the fellas, you know. I really don't have much to add to that, you know. It was, you know, uh, I guess I wouldn't rush it as much. Made it a little bit wetter. Yeah, you know, took my time a little bit more. A little bit more foreplay, you know, early on. That's something I regret. I lost a lot of women because I didn't have foreplay. <laughs> really, really. Because I remember busting off too quick, you know? Because I didn't get the foreplay in. I was just hot and heavy. But yeah, that was about it. But what they said. <laughs> I think I wish as a woman that I had more value for my body. I think I use my body a lot as a way to like get through awkward situations. Like, oh, I have sex, he'll just stop talking to me. Or, you know, if we have sex now, he'll like me more. Or we'll be closer. Or I'll get back at this friend. Like, I think I use my body a lot as a tool to get something else rather than celebrating it as a place for me to feel respected, loved as my temple, as something to keep healthy and to be proud of. So I think I wish that I had just more self-love. I wish I loved healthier. <laughs> So we did have a grand entrance of two beautiful ladies here, and I will allow them to introduce themselves. It's like the stars are beaming from both of their eyes. But again, as women, as men, so much um, is put on us to physically exert this allure of sexuality. So I would love to know from both of you before we wrap for the, for the panel, being reality show stars, reality show stars, what is your reality, and how do you personally define your womanhood for each of you? How do I define my womanhood? My name is Tierra Marie. Um, I define, how do I, just, that's a good question. I mean, what do you mean, define your womanhood? I've never even heard a question like that. Like, what do you mean? Can you go a little bit more in depth? When you think about Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, I'm strong. I'm very headstrong. I'm very smart. I'm witty. I'm, yeah, I'm everything. <laughs> and I, and I've, I've gotten there through experiences. I, I've learned so much in my, in my, I'm only 27, but I've learned, I've lived like a, a long life. So, you know, I've learned so many things and I just take everything that I learned and I, I put it going forward and I put my tunnel vision on and that's just who I am. At this point in my life, the person that Tierra is, is that she's less privy to the he say, she say, the people around her. So my tunnel vision game is like so tight right now. And that's who I am right now. But that's not my womanhood, that's just me, period. My life, my livelihood. <laughs> When you bring it back to everything you just shared, Tierra Marie is, and tying in the womanhood, where does your sexuality fall into play? What is Tierra Marie's sexuality as a woman? Well, she's heterosexual. <laughs> Strictly diggly. Um, <laughs> but what do you mean? I mean, you know, I haven't had sex. I've been celibate for about eight months now. So I guess if that's answering anything for you, I don't know. Yeah, but that's helped me to focus a lot more too. Just not, not giving it up, period. Yeah, even to my exes when they come back. I'm like, clink, clink. <laughs> and so I'll repeat the question. After you share with the audience who you are in your show, for those of you who may not know, again, I'm a fan, so I know. But um, how do you define and describe your womanhood and all that it means for you? Well, to introduce myself, my name is Nikki. Everybody calls me Nikki Baby. I, to define my womanhood, you know, I'm very confident. I do everything, I, everything I do, I do very well. I don't see any competition in my life. I am very strong, I'm beautiful. I'm, I just, you know, I'm very courageous. I'm very outspoken, I take no shit. You know, I'm very confrontational. If I feel anything, anything bothers me, it's, I'm gonna tell you. And you know, I just, I'm very charming too. And you know, I make a lot of people love me. That's who Nikki is. Okay, Nikki, and how does your sexuality play a role in your womanhood? Well, you know, 
when I have somebody, I feel like I lose focus on my work and things like that. So my sexuality is important, but my business is bigger than my sexuality. Because to be honest with you, you know, once I have sex with somebody, he's not gonna go away. They just fall in love with me too much. So I have to be very picky when I do these things. But it's still a factor in my life. I just wanna make sure I take the time and choose the right person. Because I don't like to waste my sex. I can't just put my bleach on my body. Shannon, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you to also describe Shannon's womanhood and how sexuality plays a role in that. I think as I've gotten older, the responsibility of being a, a woman that other women can look up to has definitely come into play a lot for me. So my womanhood um, is my place of sensuality, it's my place of self-expression, um, it's my place of inspiration, it's someone that my mom can talk to about orgasms and my younger cousins can talk to about meeting you know, a new guy at school. Uh, it's accepting, it's openness, it's nurturing. And that's something that for me, um, I early on decided I didn't want to have children and that wasn't going to be for me. And so I kind of didn't really know how to accept the nurturing side of, of who I was as a woman. And really through sex education, that's been my place of doing that. And um, having other young girls, you know, who are like daughters to me. So my womanhood is my, is my womb. It's my nurturing. It's my love. It's my acceptance. It's my empathy. Um, and that's how I define my womanhood. Wonderful. And then, thank you, Shannon. I know we keep 